All right, here's what you need for our skeleton project. Got the fun bag of bones set and dies. Your starry sky and pumpkin pie pads. We're gonna use a little piece of the glow in the dark paper. And your then bones DSP. Okay, first you need an eight and a half by 10 inch piece of starry sky. And you're gonna wanna use your score pal. I've already marked where I wanna score it. So my gray marks are this way. I'm gonna turn it and do my gold marks. Pretty simple. All right, now you're just gonna need to do a little bit of trimming. And you're just gonna trim up from here, right on your score line. You're just gonna chop off your ends. Just uh, they could overlap, but it just takes up more space. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those off. All right, got the hard part done. Actually, the next part is a little bit tricky. Okay, so um, we need you to use your. Um, sponge pad and a straight edge you're gonna have to mark on here um, one and a half inches because there's three inches in the middle so I'm just marking right here and then right here okay oh I still need that straight edge all right, so now you're gonna take your scoring tool, find your corner there, and you're just gonna go right to the edge there. To begin over here. And then on the other side. Folds. All right, we're gonna go ahead and glue our box or card together, however you would like it. So you start out the same by gluing it together, whether you're doing the box or the card. Just gonna use my green glue a little bit. side. I like this glue for projects like this because it doesn't, it can get a little bit tacky before you put it down and it's also a little bit movable. So, but the only bad thing is, is you will have to hold it for a few minutes to get it to stay. But then after that it should stay pretty good. Just gonna hold it up there for a second. You can go ahead and pull these ones down. Them for a little bit. And there you've got your box or the inside of your card. So you've got your little scoring here. So you're just gonna push it in a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and make the card way um, and then I'll show you kind of just a different way to make it a box, which is not much different. So if I was going to make the card, 
I would bend my folds this way and then pull it in like this. And maybe use your bone folder to kind of give it some crisp, nice folds. There we go. Um, if I was gonna make the box, you wouldn't fold it back, you would fold it in. Like that. So that's how you get your box. And then this way is the card. So I've already made a box and I'll show you that when we're done. So right now we're gonna do it as a card, which is actually pretty much the same except for the belly band around the outside it has to be folded a little bit different. So I've already stamped my little skeleton. Press that down a little bit more. Get this out of the way. Okay, so in the inside, we're gonna place this. And I think I need to trim it down a little bit. I don't know if I trim this one. Yeah, so I'm gonna trim this one down to a little less than five. Let's see if it fits inside here. There we go. Oh, I already trimmed it, apparently. I already trimmed it. <laughs> okay, so it's five and a half. All right. That's okay. The top or the bottom doesn't have to line up. Okay, and I am going to stamp Happy Halloween inside. So you have a message inside and outside. There we go. Stick that down. Looks like I'm not going all the way to the top and the bottom with this one. Or, yeah, I think I'm going to go in the middle. Since I cut it a little tight, a little small. So it still works. Okay, there's your card. Okay, we do need to do some little bats. Oh, we need black again. So we're just gonna stamp some little bats around the top here. It probably would have been easier if we would have stamped these first but it still works okay. Now if I was doing the box, I would want to stamp here and also on the sides if you'd like. I did actually do that on mine. So for the card, you're stamping here. For the box, you're stamping on the outside. Okay, so the idea with this is if you wanted it as a box, you could use it as a box or you can use the card because I know everyone has different um, ways that they use uh, the stuff they make. Okay. All right, now we're just gonna fold our piece of DSP around to make a little belly band. And this is kind of what holds it together. So it's kind of necessary to get it kind of tight. So just, I just kind of fold it. Um, till it meets in the middle. Put a little bit of glue. This one actually might be a good one for tearing tape. So I'm gonna have to hold it for a little bit while it dries here to hold it together because it's pulling on it. Okay, there's your belly band and you can just slide that off to open the card. That's kind of tight. Okay, we'll wait till that dries for a minute. Okay, so we've got our little mausoleum. We're gonna stamp boo to you right here in this little guy. Oops, let's do it the right way. We've got our little cat. He's so cute. Stick him on here. hanging off the bottom and then we do have a little um, bow tie that we're gonna put on our skeleton I've got one right here with the glue dot on it already let's use that one and I also have a hat here with the glue dot on it stick this on his hand kind of on his hand kind of on his hat Put some dimensionals on the back
Put some right there. Oh, we need to put this on there too. Let's see, I want it on this side. Probably not all the way to the bottom. Let's just lay that under his legs a little bit and hang it off the bottom. And then we're gonna add a little piece of, this is a glow-in-the-dark paper. I just cut out a circle just for the little moon and the action in the back. Isn't that cute and super simple? And now I'm gonna add some more dimensionals just because it holds it really well and um, why not puff it up even higher? This is definitely, uh, probably put that up a little higher. A puffy card. You're gonna need a lot of extra postage if you mail this. But as a tag on a box, you can make it as thick as you want. Look at that. So there's our card. Or there's our box. Put treats in or mail this one. There you go. Have fun doing that.